Yeah? Yes. Uh, options, because this music's way too loud. Uh, no, there's voices, so I don't have to read. Full screen or windowed? Uh, I'm fine the size. I don't understand what this is. Skip mode. I'm not sure what that means. So, let's change. Oh yeah, I gotta change my category. Call it cooking companion. Does it not show up? Ah, uh, there. Cooking companions. There we go. See, it's it's horror. <laughs> it's horror. <laughs> it's a horror game. It's like a cute horror game. I I I saw bits of it and I'm just like, man, this is great. I I maybe should change my title to that cute cute horror. Horror. Game. Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, I'll just do that. Okay, let's start. This music's driving me crazy already. This game not suitable for children. Or those who are easily disturbed. <laughs> we're not disturbed here, right? Wait, we're not all <laughs> Everyone who's watching me right now are not disturbed children, right? Okay, so we're good, we're good. <laughs> Raise our hands! Any of you disturbed our children? <laughs> That's what you like to hear, Box? Yes! So, okay, no one raise their hands. We're going in. I'm excited. Can I use a remote or no? Wait, where's the voices? They lied to me! I have to read this? Who's Gregor? I'm assuming it's the big, big guy. Mm. That walk was... Oh my god, I got the voice from this not happening. Alright. That, that walk was... Mm. Uh... Chad, <laughs> that, that walk was brutal. This cabin is... Am but this cabin is amazing. Hey, it's just gonna be stiff. <laughs> cool kitchen, running water. It, it really has everything. And nothing. Uh, Holy! He has a squirrel? Okay. Finally, a place I can read a good book in peace. <laughs> okay, Maria. I'm hoping it's just the four of them because, man, any more voices. Uh, Maria sounds down to her. Uh, I can't wait to tea. Uh, maybe higher points. I can't wait to. No, not too high. <laughs> I can't wait to TA. Uh, at you. I'm sorry, everyone. I must be the dust. Okay, this is Karen. Oh my god, there's a Karen here. <laughs> Get those allergies under control, Maria. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm sure with a little elbow grease, we can make this cabin shine. So are you volunteering to clean, Gregor? N no. <laughs> it's cute anime. <laughs> and Natoli. Not many supplies here. Guess we'll have to go out to get what we need. Hmm. There's a fireplace for making stew, so let's gather up some firewood, okay? What? Why are they here? <laughs> oh, leave that to me, little guy. You can't do it, man. I'll tidy up. I'll tidy up around the cabin. Need to save Maria from dying due to this dust. Ha ha ha. Hey, hey. Allergies are nothing. Joke about Karen. She's not dead yet, Pipsqueak. Calm down. Th thanks, Anatoly. Uh, I don't know her voice. I can't get. I can't get Maria. I don't know. I'm the most normal person. I should just talk like her, baby. Let's just be darnest. That'd be good for best. <laughs> I think I'll go foraging outside. With over 450 mosses, 900 fungi, 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 fungi. <laughs> and 70 slime moles. There's bound to be treasure up here. Uh, I'll, I'll just do my own voice because I don't know who Marie. <laughs> Roughing it is fun. Anatoly knows so much about edible foods. We're in good hands. I'm assuming I'm gonna die if I play his Marie. <laughs> I think the slime moles would be the most delicious. Most certainly not. 
What about the fungi? Fungi? <laughs> Do you even know which ones are poisonous, Anatoly? I, uh, uh, I could figure that out. You can be the canary in the coal mine, Anatoly. I'm not ending up a corpse here. Uh-oh. That's a red flag already. I know this game's... <laughs> Eek! Hmm. Keep both eyes open, little guy. Plenty of wolves and brown bears around. You can definitely eat those. It won't be a problem. Uh, I read up on 10 different techniques in capacity. In capacity. In capacity. In capacity. In capacity. In capacity. In Incapacitate them. <laughs> so many NGs. Incapacitate them. Incapacitate. Okay. Number one is uh, Anatoly. Oh yeah, sorry, Maria. Uh, uh, got carried away again. <laughs> uh, I'll help Anatoly look for food. I'm definitely better at warding off wild animals. Uh, if we come up empty-handed, we can always eat some of the food we brought. You mean emergency rations? Bad idea, chum. Hey, Anatoly and Maria are getting food. Gregory is gathering firewood that makes you our destiny chef. Wait, who? Who? Wait. Oh, no! I'm I'm an actual person? Brain not working? No, my brain is not working at all. <laughs> okay. So I can't be Maria anymore. Because I'm me. Wait, do I not talk? Hey, wait a no, I cannot be Maria. Okay, let's go, Maria. Let's go. Maria's going high pitch, I think. Let's see. I'm very, very excited to try your cooking. Okay, there we go. Which That's Maria now. All right, everyone. Let's go to work while there's still sunlight. Oh, <laughs> later. He's totally flirting. All right. Maria. Anatoly. Gregor. The three exited... The exit. The three exit the cabin, leaving you and Karen alone. Uh, is this a dating sim or am I cooking? <laughs> I think Anatoly put the supplies in the kitchen. Thanks for helping out with the cooking. Tutorial. To save the game, right click or hit the escape button on your keyboard to pull up the menu. Right click. Uh... I don't know if we are us, who are we? I don't know. That's that, that's what you said in the box because I, like, I'm confused. I'm assuming I am me. I am, I might talk at some points. Now Maria has a voice. That's not me. This menu will also allow you to adjust volume levels or exit to the title screen. Okay. Oh, no. Please note going back to main menu, exiting the game without saving, remove progress. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Do you have any experience making meals? No. Yes. <laughs> I could say nothing. Of course, I'm I'm a connoisseur at chopping. I actually do like prepping, but I don't know why. I just don't. <laughs> they should have said yes, but I'm too lazy to do it. <laughs> that would have been my choice for reals. Um, is that so? Hmm. Looking at you, I think you'd be good at serving up food poisoning. Wow. Wow, I don't like her already. Right? Is she... Is she... Is she mocking me? Uh, looks like Karen will remember that. I will remember that, actually, Karen. But, okay. Anyways. Damn, Karens. <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean... <laughs> Maybe I do. I don't know. There's too many Karens. Sorry for everyone. It's a Karen who's not a Karen. <laughs> I know, that's what, that's what I'm like, I think. Fuck, <laughs> I can't. Oh, don't, don't, don't cancel me, Karens. They probably would. Going to check out the living room. Hmm, let's talk later. Okay, Karen heads to the living room and starts dusting a little. Ah, you decide to look around the kitchen to find the ingredients for the meal tonight. Tutorial. Do I have to read this? You never know what you'll find around the cabin. Clues and secrets may be revealed by searching the area more than once. Okay. That's good to know. Double click. Triple click. Three, three, four. Click the click a lot. Why not give it a try? What area do you want to search first? Oh. I'm not clicking. Fine. Uh, I'm going behind a wood pile. 
Uh, wait. Right? Click some. Holy crap. Uh, well, okay. I'll put away the controller. Because that was useless. <laughs> Here we go. Use the mouse now. There's nothing but cobwebs back there. No, that you said I could double check. <laughs> Thankfully, no spiders. No, let's double check. Look at the woodlocks closer. <laughs> this is just a pile of Norway spruce. No, come on. Norway spruce won't burn as hot as logs from an oak tree. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know why I know this. These will be useless during snowfall. No, no, there must be something there. You told me there's something there. Will you reconsider your views on normal s Norway spruce? Norway, not normal. <laughs> it's less dense and won't fill a cabin with a heavy smell. Do I keep going? I'm... They said there's something there, no? Fine, one more time. The supplies aren't anywhere near her. I'm... I'm gonna... Okay, fine. I already maxed out their answers. Let's try the cupboards. 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 First few cupboards are cupboards are empty. Is cupboards or cupboards? I hear people say cupboards, but I feel like you're pronounced as cupboard, cupboard, cupboards. Like pineapple is pineapple, but not pineapple. Pineap pineapple. Anatoly must have put the slide somewhere else. No, it's in the cup cupboards. Check the cupboards again. Just some mouse turds and cup. Why is there mouse turds in there? One more time! You check the cupboards underneath the sink. <gasps> oh, you found a dead mouse! <laughs> What's that? Is it really loud? Hold on. Where? Let me lower the... The, the sound effects are high. Sorry. There, is there a voice? L let me lower... Let me lower... Uh, BMG drives me. Because I know it's just looping. BGM, I meant. Back to game. Alright, alright. <laughs> this game shouldn't scare you now! Fox, we're not even there yet. We're not disturbed yet. <laughs> this would be a great gift to give to Karen. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Oh, you had a dead mouse to your inventory. I'm excited about the dead mouse. Let's check the drawers. <laughs> check the drawers on the left. Just some dirty knives. I right, check the drawers to right. Check the drawers above the mouse hole. There's a mouse hole? Where? I don't... I don't see one. Uh, okay. Uh, some kind of mold is growing in this one. Maybe Karen will find it appetizing. Should I grab that for Karen? Let's... Okay. Is there a mouse hole? Oh, there is a mouse hole! Holy crap! It's like cartoonish! All right, let's check the drawers one more. <laughs> Ran, that sounds scary. <laughs> but it's not scary yet. We're not there. Let's hold on to your horses. Wait, that made no sense. <laughs> It'll be fine. I load all the volumes. I load. I load the scariness. <laughs> I can't lower the Karens though. Oh, that's true. You live in a Victorian house. That's, 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 that would be scary, right? <laughs> I'd be freaking out. Actually, no, I freak out over noises too. I think my neighbor, I don't know, did they just like drop their own dead body on the floor because one night I was like, what the hell is going on? That was loud noise. <laughs> I shouldn't say that because then I'll find a dead body. Trust me, that's uh, that happened once to me. And uh, let's just say. Yeah, it's got, got, darnest things, gotta be careful what she says. Yep, that's why I'm called darnest things. <laughs> gotta be careful. <laughs> Check the drawers above the woodpile. Yes, something's making it difficult to open. You pull it open with all my might. Yes, let's break some, uh... Whee, <gasps> Whoa. Well, there is a voice. So only the vegetables can talk. Oh, someone followed me? <laughs> because I made it really small. Why is... What's wrong with you? Thank you for following cat Catrotiches. <laughs> Sorry, I butchered it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
Right? Like, I cannot talk with the vegetables, Kent. This is, uh... This is, um, interesting. Let's, let's... Oh, cactus! Hey, hi! Okay, that's cool. Thank you for saying that. I can actually read your name. <laughs> I need to change the transparency. I, I have so much to do, man. I want to make icons people could smash and spam me with icons and I want to fix all my overlays and I want to be putting a petting button. Not that I've seen Coyote for a bit, but I definitely want to put a petting button. <laughs> hey, the boy, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Okay, okay, let's keep talking to this cabbage. Oh, stop talking. Am I supposed to s am I supposed to be a cabbage now? <laughs> oh, you played a cooking companion game? Oh, you weren't here for the end of boy. Oh man. Alright. Um I think after the stream it will be up on my YouTube. If you wanna speed through that, trust me, I have ADHD, so you can speed through anything and I I'll applaud you. Uh two times the speed is the best for me. I make no sense by then, but hey. <laughs> I applaud. But yes, I play Michon. Michan. Michon. <laughs> I hate complicated names. I feel so bad when I butcher them. Uh, that's why I learned Japanese and Korean, so I can stop butchering those. But uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to learn the rest of the other languages in the world. Uh. I ended well. I didn't stay with my ghost babies who wanted to kill me in my burning house. I'm always in a burning house for some reason. And uh, most of my crew died. I I left Norma to be eaten by zombies. A perfect way to end. And I let Sam shoot Rando. I think that, that is what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, let's keep talking to the caption. Alright, let's go. Alright. Chomp it! Sound all. I don't know how it sounds. Whoa. Never fear. Onions here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm having a breakdown. <laughs> Why does the bread sound like that? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Oh my god, my surgery hurts. Okay, give me a second. All right. Oh, like my cousin Cornbread says, I'll rise to occasion. I know. I, I know. Ah, voices for Anna. <laughs> I, I think I mimic that. I don't think Cavern's talks. It's just, it's like a Pokemon. Oh, Potato doesn't talk at all. Okay, so it's mind reading like cab cabbage stuffed me into this drawer. Kittle doesn't talk. I'm pretty sure this counts as kidnapping. Don't be happy. Don't, don't be happy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a sim. Where are the chumpets? <laughs> Why talk with these boring humans? I'm hallucinating. <laughs> Nyanya, all we have to give you is Dhamma! Come chat with us and I, I, I'm making sense. We'll share valuable recipes you can cook! We'll, we'll share with you our secret chomper recipes! Raspberry! Collect them all and become a five star chef, Raspberry! It'll just freeze heavily. <laughs> you can find you can find log recipes in a main menu under extra, but be sure to save the game. Okay. That's so great. Here's your first recipe card. No. Yeah, nabe, nabe. God damn it. Roasted eggplant with sesame and pomegranate. Be free. Okay. Oh yeah. Cat. <laughs> you played escape. And what am I? Do you have any warnings for me before I keep going? I feel like I'm killing myself already with these weird Pokemon voices. If you ever want to talk, just come to the drawer. 
something there. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> oh, that, I don't know. I don't know. Is it that? Do you even understand what I'm saying? At this point, I feel like I'm I'm not making sense. Cabbage rudely slams the drawer close. You wonder if you what you saw was real. <laughs> no, I'm like I'm going from one schizophrenic person to another. <laughs> not to, to not to undermine schizophrenia, but man, I'm hallucinating like my babies in the middle of burning house, and then now I'm hallucinating vegetables. That teach me online recipes. <laughs> going up. You're, you're slightly worried about what this means for your mental state. I don't know. I'm already dying from all these voices. But only slightly. Okay. So that means I'm okay with my craziness. Uh, hey. Did you find the supplies? Uh, you shake your head. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and I totally lied. He actually put them in the bedroom. Okay. Idiot. Here you go. You got the emergency supplies. <laughs> Karen leaves you alone again. Okay. <laughs> you start fire with some of the wood. Get to work on cooking dinner. Tonight's an, an entree. Vegetable stew. In a large saucepan over medium heat, you heat some water, potatoes, carrots, and celery in it. So, I... <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god, why am I burping? I claim part, very part of me. I claim to be able to cook, so I don't understand why they're teaching me recipes. But let's let's keep going. Fifteen minutes later, you drain the pan and set the vegetables aside. Placing some butter in the saucepan, you melt it over medium heat. I am going to be as clear as I can. Because being a vegetable, you're not going to understand me. Throwing some chopped onions in, you cook it about 10 minutes. That's way too long in my opinion, but okay. The onions are tender and translucent. Perfect. You next mix in some flour. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and heavy cream into saucepan. Adding the vegetables to the mixture. Hours pass. Why is this hours? Why? I'm serving mush. I know how to cook. Food should not take hours. <laughs> Unless I'm like preparing for 30 people. <sighs> We're back. More firewood than you'll ever need. We have firewood, Gregor, but okay, I, I applaud you. He seems really sweet. He found some wild sorrel. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a bigger bounty. Anatoly's burying the lead. We saw red deer. Mm, mm, ma ma Maria spotted it. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Anyways, uh, killed 17 spiders today while you were out looking at deer. <laughs> oh, mm, that should come as no surprise. There were over 160 species of spiders here. Oh, wow. Uh, am I in Australia or some crazy? <laughs> where? But that's really creepy. That's, that's so many spiders. This is sad. Is this Japan? Do the spiders look like the size of your, like... <laughs> I was gonna say nipple. That was a weird... <laughs> that was a weird thought. I mean... <laughs> I'm, I'm done with myself here. I mean... <laughs> Dude, that was, I don't know, the spiders in Japan are huge, okay? Move on. Uh oh, 160! Don't worry, Maria. I'm sure they were all in the bathroom or something. Uh, no. Almost all of them were near the couch. I was going to sleep on a couch. That's where 16 of them are. Oh god, how gross. The make babies live in couches. Oh man. That's why you check all your bedding. I had one bed bug instant. That's all. You don't need bed bugs in your life. Always check your beddings and then check your, 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 your. 
check your suitcase. And you set them aside after you come home. Wash everything. If you need to steam your suitcase or put out in the sun. Trust me. <laughs> what should you say, Box? They are there. They are though. Wait. They are though. That's the only reason I won't live there. I know. <laughs> no, Japan. Australia. Japan has some crazy, like, killer wasps. Crazy killer rabbits. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. They are not spiders. They are de I know they are demons. I always thought it was, like, fake. Those anime spiders when you watch, like, you know, I think I was. Some of those like ninja shows or whatever, they always have like giant spider jitsu or whatever. And I was always like, oh, that just must be a cartoon version, right? And then I saw one for reals and I'm just like, mother of god, help me. <laughs> they weren't like tarantula. For some reason, I think tarantulas are kind of cute because they're big enough and alone enough to not be like that scary. Like, this was like the perfect evil size because their feet, their, their feet, I call them feet, their legs were like sharp. <laughs> sharp. sharp. Hun Huntsman on the, the window? No. Should I Google it right now? I'm <laughs> just gonna Google Because those Japanese spiders, man. God dang. Yeah. On real life, man, that was huge. Huntsman spider. Oh my god! Whoa, that's creepy. It, it's almost holy crap. That's a tarantula. Oh mother god! No, oh, Google, no. My belly itches. <laughs> I'm not getting you. It actually itches. I'm gonna ASMR me scratching myself. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, the Japanese ones are like, they're like, they're, the feet are like knives. If the husbands don't even have knife feet, these these things have knife feet. They're like knives. They're, I'm not joking. They're not like fucking... Oh my, I swear. Sorry. It's late at night. There's no kids here. We're not disturbed. We're moving on. <laughs> All right. I I'm not sleeping on that couch, then. Hmm. And there's only two beds in the bedroom. Whoa, what is this Gregor hinting at? Uh, don't sweat it, Maria. I can sleep anywhere, so I'll sleep in a rocking chair. All right, okay. I'll sleep with one eye open just in case any of them swarm the couch. <laughs> Thanks, Gregor. Hmm, Karen and Antoldi, you two take the bedroom. Wait, what is see? Wow. Uh... Are, are they like are they like dating? Are they hinting? Am I in this is a hint? Are they siblings? Wait, that that, that seems wrong too. God dang it. Alright. What'd you say, Box? Actual demons? If they're not demons, I don't know what is I know they are. Anything that comes in swarms freak me out. I think one is fine. But when they come in multiples of five. I think even three is too much for me. <laughs> Roaches, man. Uh, uh, th thanks, big guy. Uh, joke's on you, Gregor. I always plan on taking one of the beds. <laughs> hey, Anatoly. I snore louder than a lumberyard. E e Sweet dreams, chum. You turn your back to your bubbling vegetable stew and try a bite. This is... Uh, have I been cooking this for four hours? This is too much. Let's do this. I, there wouldn't even be bits left. Most of it would have melted. <laughs> this taste is pretty good. You cooked vegetables too. Yay. Where's the protein? I'm so upset. Why is my face not upset? There we go. <laughs> Okay, if I said single huntsman's chilling on my window, you'd be chilling. Oh, well... I think I would be fascinated. I might scream first. Because <laughs> I had a giant cockroach sitting on top of my bed when I had like a... a, a weird secret of mine. I, I like netting. And I had a net net over my bed. And there was giant roach. And uh, <laughs> I just... 
I just moved in and God and my friends were in there was screaming for him. <laughs> I was screaming until they came. And they started laughing at me. Like, stop laughing. I'm trying to run to my house. So, okay. So I probably would scream like that. And then... And then I'll probably have to find a way. I don't think I can kill it. I'm like... A little squeamish. Roaches I'll kill because... Roaches they don't deserve... Even my squeamishness. They just don't, okay? They just need to die. And... I, I don't know. I would probably try to capture it. And then internet search it. And then, I don't know, throw it outside in the streets. Far away. Maybe walk it to the next garbage can or something. I don't know. Walk it towards the end of the block or somewhere far away. It's far enough it won't, like, follow me. Let's keep going. This game is never gonna be done! <laughs> Several hits? Oh my god, it reminds me when you tell me my mom hit the rat. Oh my god, my story is like story time about this. Okay, no. No more stories. We're gonna move that story till next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> oh my god. You set the table as so everyone digging. Let's do this. Let's let's we gotta get Oh, this is cute. And wooden bowls and everything. This is nice. Oh wow. This smells delicious. Thank you. Uh, uh, no protein though, sorry, Gregor. Ah, uh, you must be a world class chef. Karen takes a bite. Mm, we're waiting. We're waiting. It's blunt as hell. I knew she was Karen! <gasps> okay, we're moving on. Karen! Uh, tastes like every other vegetable stew I've ever had. Uh, so generic. God damn, Karen! <laughs> I know. It's okay, we'll go. we're getting there. I'm gonna get to the disturbing part before the stream ends. I'm definitely... We're gonna do it. We're gonna be there. Mer. Um, oh yeah, Gregor. Uh, could probably use some meat next time. Well, you, you could kill some an animals. Do I have to butcher them? Because, uh... Well, are you, are you vegetarian? I mean, vegan? <laughs> I shouldn't hate vegetarians, but vegans can be a little edgy, man. I, I, vegans just eat carbs. I'm so mean. Oh my god, vegans are gonna cancel me now. Good go from Karen's to vegans cancel me. I'm just getting a cat again. Oh god, this is London Trans forever. Sorry! I don't I I like vegans. I drink I drink oat milk. God that sounds so bad. Okay, we're moving on. Gregor is hot. He seems like a sweetie. I worry for his life already. I could ditch everyone. Maybe Maria's a little cute. I don't know. Ah. Oh. For a side dish, we could bake some bread and utilize the Bagaria Vesca and it's known as strawberries for some jam. He looks so serious here. Just serious. Uh, nobody cares, Pipsqueak. Wow, she's so... Wow, she said that with this face. Oh, you can't see because chat is over her face. I just realized the chat is over her face. You, I don't know how to move it off her face. <laughs> okay, it goes down here for now. Let's hope nothing happened. <laughs> you don't want to see her? Okay. <laughs> Where are we Everyone laughs at Karen's polite ripping. I don't know about that. That's some passive aggressive laugh I have here. <laughs> Nothing makes you happier than cooking great meal for friends. This could be very well be the best day you've ever had. I know this is going downhill for now. You go to bed stuff. Oh. <laughs> I totally thought of this as murder, but let's move on. <laughs> I like Gregor's. We're, I'm worried about him. The boy, I'm not joking. I'm really worried. Oh, Gregor's. He's so cute. He seems so sweet that I'm really worried. <laughs> Let me. Oh, uh, hey, you up? How'd you sleep? I was so warm last night. 
I didn't even need a blanket. Look how sweet he is! Oh my god. Yeah, no one likes a carrot. Just put it. <laughs> no one likes a carrot. Okay. <laughs> what time is it? Hmm, about one hour until dawn. Oh my god. Will you two pipe down? I'm trying to sleep over here. Hmm. Whoa! Gregor, the birds outside aren't even making much noise yet. Hmm, we didn't bring many supplies, remember? Better to get a head start on gathering food. I honestly can't see the trees outside right now. Gregor, did you see any spiders last night? Whoa, she looks spooked. Hmm, there was a small one in the bathroom. <laughs> Actually, I did see a centipede by the sink. Mm, Maria turns a little pale. <laughs> she looks like she's dead. Karen's messing with you, Maria. Carrots. Huh, let's find more than wild sorrel today. Yes, meat! Yeah! If you're lucky, little guy, maybe I'll teach you how to catch some wild brown trout. <gasps> oh my god, I love you, Gregor! Chat sounds good. Hmm, what's with you and me, big guy? Protein's important. God dang, no one watched, like, survival shows? Like, Naked and Afraid? Naked and Afraid. It's not a survival show right now. <laughs> you can watch it on YouTube, though. <laughs> Clips of it. You need protein, you need protein. Demons, did you see any demons last night? <laughs> Apparently demons come in like a thousand feet. <laughs> centipedes, I mean. They're demons too. <laughs> Actually, how centipedes, I try not to kill them anymore because I heard they kill, ro like, eat roaches. I'd be like, okay, maybe I should catch some. Like, maybe, like, poke a hole in the wall. Let it crawl. <gasps> oh yeah, maybe I could put it through an outlet. I don't know. Either way, they gotta go kill some roaches for me, man. I'm fine with them. I don't know why I look sad. I actually look... I'm supposed to be angry. I gotta fix my... <laughs> I gotta fix my facial recognition. <laughs> Anatoly's herbalism book stated that there's many more species of plants to eat out here. Let's leave the fish alone. Oh my gosh, she is... Vegan. Oh my God. You know, I'm not a, a, into meat. Are you vegetarian vegan? Let's go. Look. We're getting in there. If she knew the vegetables in the drawer could talk, she wouldn't even eat vegetables. <laughs> Can I buy them? Can I buy what? Like, house centipedes? I think they just live in basements, no? I don't know. I remember my niece. My niece? Oh my god, I raised it. <laughs> when she saw like a whole bunch of spiders birthing in a basement once it, and I was like, okay, I'm not going down there for a while. But they're all gone. <laughs> Oh, children and their spiders. <laughs> but yeah. After a while, they're all gone. Then you can, like, freely go down there and be like, I don't see any spiders because I like being an airhead about spiders. <laughs> oh, you don't have basements there? Good. Uh, you have house spend a piece of... <laughs> huh. Whoa, Victorian houses have no basements? Are all the movies fake? Uh. Okay, that blew my mind. I don't know why that blew my mind. <laughs> I thought there was like cellars. There's like wine cellars. No, isn't that the same? You just put wine there or dead bodies or. <laughs> it's so terrible. <laughs> Oh my god, you can tell I'm a horror fan. Oh my god, I cannot. I'm so terrible. I'm a terrible. Let's go on. That's a shame. I'd wake up early to go fishing. If she would, whoa. <laughs> Cheer up, Karen. We'll get to observe the trout at the very least. No, don't observe, Gregor. Get, oh god, don't listen to Maria. She could, she could just eat her vegetable proportion. I'll cook her something separate. Maybe we'll see more red deer today. Mm. That sounds like a waste of time, Gregor. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll, we'll find some blackthorn berries? This is how we starve, because the vegan don't want to eat flesh. I mean meat. <laughs> oh my god, I played to my heart. 
Oh, so the inside's just done up? Aww. Alright, I, I blew my mind for a bit, but I guess I, I'm just silly. It's okay, do you need a basement? Because, you know, that's what happens when people make basements in their homes. They find things. They find things. Or like, if you have where the house gets risen and you have this gap underneath the porch, I hear people, you find things. <laughs> I, know, I don't want to find anything <laughs> in reality. <laughs> Anywhere you dig, you can find things. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I love black thorn berries. <laughs> we'll be back later. Can you watch our stuff today? Uh, totally. I'm, I'm here in the house. I'll talk to the vegetables because that's me. No, loosening. Mm, I nod, Mary. A thing, thank you. Thanks. Mm. Mm. Don't steal anything, okay? What the heck is wrong with this? Why am I with her? Uh, uh, doesn't very... Uh, I didn't want to not do her, but I just did. <laughs> yeah, let's not dig anywhere. Sounds like crazy. I know. Dig digging. I tell you what. If I say something, I might find something. Let's not, let's not get there. <laughs> I wish I could do that with lottery. Oh, like, I found a winning lottery ticket. Like, that, that I would say every day, but, you know. If I say, oh, yeah, I, I, I better be a dead body. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what I get. Let's move on from that story. <laughs> Maria and Tony and Anatoly, Gregor, and Karen leave the cabin with a hop to their step. <laughs> You're alone, but thankfully you have a drawer of chompettes to keep you comfy. I knew it! We gotta go and hallucinate now. The tour. Each day you'll be asked to explore a different part of the cabin. You only get one choice, then the day will end. Choose wisely. What do you want to check out today? Only one choice. God, what do I do in that one room for eight hours? Uh... Ah! Since we talk about basements, let's check out the basement. <laughs> Is this a death wish? Maybe. We'll just keep going. <laughs> oh yeah, you would disappear like... You never existed if you want money after you give a bit to people, you know. I wouldn't even like the clue. The clue. The advice is to just not tell people you even want anything. And by the time you come back, you have like a whole bunch of people you hired to like deal with that money. In a good way. And that way you would save on taxes. And then, yeah, I would totally like then give it to people. I, I, I'd be careful though, you know. The woodworks, man. Suddenly you have like family from God knows where coming out being like, I'm related. I am. I really am. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. It's it's a real thing. I, I watch too much internet. What? Hold on. I just... Oh, why did it go back? That's weird. I want the basement. This is truly... uh. Look at this. There's even a crack. This is like just shining. This is a shining bas basement door. Yes, the door to the basement. There's no reason to go into the basement right now. Wh you wait for the others to return. That's my only choice. I should just go backwards. It's too late now. Oh, we're back. Where do you guys go? I, why do you need four of you to be out there? I Mm, knock it off, Maria. Uh, pretty rare to be scared of one. Uh, 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 it's not. <laughs> Who knew the big guy would be so scared of a... You don't understand. I don't think anyone understands, Gregor. It was just a marmot, Gregor, not a monster. Maria laughs so hard that her, your ears your ears ring. God, my ears are ringing now, even though it's imaginary. <laughs> oh God, okay. That that was a moment. I had to do that. 
<laughs> you like the base memory box? Did you like my laugh? I didn't even know it would last that long. My god, it sounded like the Joker for a moment. <laughs> Moving on. Tears are rolling down Maria's cheeks. Oh my god. She's laughing so hard that she's about to hyperventilate. Ah, uh, stop Maria from hyperventilating. Wait, can I? Okay, absolutely not. All right. <laughs> One less mouth to feed, right? Uh. Oh, wow. That did turn dark. <laughs> the laugh? Yeah, it did. And then <laughs> the fact that I said one less, less mouth to feed. That got dark real fast, too. Oh my god, this game. Man, we're getting there. This is exciting. Uh, you don't get it. It's pretty personal. Ah, uh, then please explain, big guy. Uh, oh, oh. Gregor looks incredibly uncomfortable. <laughs> Let's leave him alone. We found some raspberries and elderberries near the cabin. Hmm. Quite the selection of berries. We also found a wild sorrel. Is this going to be enough for a good meal? Why are we here? I'm sussing about this whole situation. It's not like snowing or trapped up. I don't understand. Everyone's looking at me for an answer. You decide to do an inventory of all available ingredients. It takes you a while, but you decide on your specialty cabbage roll. And you are new more than one. The game in our random chat is matching up a lot. I notice it's weird. <laughs> it's, I know. <laughs> it just shows how dark everything gets. <laughs> My stream. <laughs> Everything's so, so fitting. You first bring a large pot of water to boil. Alright, that's tutorial time. You let the cabbage leaves boil for two minutes, draining the pot into the sink. It's not bad. In a medium mixing bowl, you combine some cooked rice, onion, and egg. Salt and pepper along with some tomato sauce. So Maria's not vegan because we're eating egg. <laughs> you use your hands to mix thoroughly and decide to wash your hands after it won't come off. Dividing the rice mixture evenly between the cabbage leaves, you then roll them up and tie a string around them so they stay in one piece. It's so Japanese in a way. Mer. Alright, you say we talked about spiders basins and not laugh and it was all <laughs> I know! God damn. This game. <sighs> it was meant to be for today, man. Meant to be. Meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> You place the cabbage rolls in a large skillet over medium heat, pouring the rest of the tomato mixture over the top. Covering it, you bring it to a boil. Interesting. Reduce the heat to low and let the cabbage rolls simmer for about 40 minutes, being sure to base it with the liquid. Okay. Okay. Wow. That looks actually really good. Like, like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. You cook cabbage rolls. <laughs> Maria looks optimistic. <laughs> Aaron looks skeptical. Anatoly looks curious. Gregor looks thrilled. <laughs> I realize the chat's still over Maria's face forever. <laughs> you watch intently as everyone takes the first bite. Is this enough for everyone? I feel like we're gonna starve. That's a very small... Why is there a bowl missing? <laughs> Moving on. I, I, I've I heard of Cabbage Rolls. You think like Japanese website? Just one cookbook? I really like that website. It has very simple recipes. And that's about it. <laughs> but it's free. And it's pretty cool. I, I like it. I recommend it. Oh my god. I should, I should, I should get a... I should sponsor. <laughs> Please be my sponsor. Okay. <laughs> hmm... That's pretty darn good. Oh my god, Karen actually said something positive. God dang. Wow, I could eat the whole batch myself. I think the vegetable stew tastes better, but I'm loving how tender cabbage is. The sauce is uh, pretty red. Uh, did you use fresh tomatoes for it? Mm. Uh, it really adds to it. Uh, spoon some of the liquid on top of it. You'll thank me later. Uh, incredible. Definitely growing on me. Thanks again for cooking. This is really something special. 
Everyone leaves the dishes behind for you to do. Wow, I cook and clean? What the freak? The chef should not be cleaning the dishes. That's my motto. I already cooked and prepped everything. I'm not doing the dishes. What am I made for? I should put some talking cabbage in my food. Freak them out. <laughs> You're gonna check it out? Cool! Cool! I, I've never done it myself. It looks really good. I, I went, not, not, not happening. What? You settle in and go to bed. What's not happening? Everyone goes to bed full. Tomorrow would be another great day. So do we just eat one meal a day? This is some intense, uh... Uh... Intermittent fasting here. <laughs> Like they go out foraging and come back. This is literally like, are we, are we in a, is this a zombie apocalypse? And with the peppy music? <laughs> Cause Mer. Good morning, everyone. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, and Gregor. Can't you let us sleep in? Oh, not today. Why? Oh, storm clouds are gathering outside. We need to find some food before it begins to downpour. <sighs> Gregor, you're overreacting. We have enough food to last us a while. Enough food? Uh, I, I thought we used most of the supplies for last night's dinner. Uh, he's right. The meal you made was delicious, but it used a lot of what we had. Gregor's also correct. Precipitation is usually unusually, unusually high in, in this area, with many areas being high risk for flooding. Ah, be foolish not to go out and look for food today. You really think it will flood? Hmm. Thankfully, the cabin is on high ground, but that doesn't mean we're safe from flood wars. Hmm. It's always a possibility, so it can hurt to be prepared. Hmm. You're losing it, Gregor. Aaron! There's nothing to worry about. I think Gregor's right, Karen. Uh, huh. It will hurt to prepare for the worst. Hmm. I think she's right, Karen. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Wow, that's actually really smart, Mia. <laughs> oh, Anatoly. Oh, uh, let's go out and prepare for the storm. Mm, foraging should be a key priority today. There are plenty of edible foods, and it's better odds than trying to hunt. No, just fish! God darn it, everyone! Fish can last forever. I could dry it, I could lay it, I could fry it, I could, like, we could eat it raw. God darn it. <laughs> Life lessons. Get the fish! Ignore Maria. <laughs> That's my life lessons. Oh, I feel like anything anime, you can learn a lot. That's how I learn about sports. Literally. I, I, I was never a good sports kid, so... Sports! Anime. <laughs> um, Give me a few minutes. I'll plot out a route on some paper. Hmm, let me help, little guy. Are there zombies? I don't understand why we're here. So mysterious. Anatoly and Gregor head to the bedroom to consult the map. Maria and Karen are still hanging around. Tutorial. Fortunately in life, you can't make everyone happy. When given a choice to speak to a character, choose wisely. You can only select one of them. Wow, okay. Try to max out your bond with certain characters for unique dialogue and scenarios. Which one would you like to talk to? Maria. <laughs> We're totally ignoring Karen. I do not want to talk to her. <laughs> She's like totally typecast at this point. Her name and her. Maria is paging through some of the books on her bookshelf. You walk over to her. Ah, uh, there are some great books here. Which one is your favorite? Hmm. Ironically, I do not like reading scary books. Not that they're scary, but it's because they're not scary. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, not all of them. Some of them are scary, but most of the time they're not. <laughs> Anyhow, romantic one. I like crafting and romantic. This is very hard to choose. Hmm. Romantic it is. Oh, yeah? Uh, I've read I've read a few random pages. Seems pretty melodramatic. Why is everyone crying all the time? This is not a Korean <laughs> romantic story. No one's ever crying in there. What the? What? <laughs> not a K drama. 
You shrug. Meh. Can I shrug with my fi- I, I don't think I can. I don't- I don't- Yeah, my character can't shrug. So I'll do the, the American shrug. Eh? <laughs> Yeah, it's true to a certain extent. Anime typically goes a bit on an extreme side, though. I heard about Blue Lock, and <laughs> when you say that, I want to watch. <laughs> I still have to finish Bochida. And that's how I get into, like, just watching people play guitar and rock that. At least, I mean, yeah, some of them are really. I do. But they're entertaining. <laughs> I learned so much. Like football, I shield 21 when I first like, read it. Watch it. I remember when I did. Either way, art is great. But I was like, wow, I learned about football. American football, not not the actual football. football. I, mean, <laughs> I was like, damn, I learned way too much. Um, maybe the ending redeems it. But what, what uh, from what I read, uh, this book is hot garbage. Sorry. What the? Maria looks pretty disappointed in my answer. Oh gods, I hate you, Maria. Right? No, I don't hate you. We're stuck in a cabin. Let's be friendly. I don't want to have to kill everyone. I mean, uh... <laughs> there are definitely some better books you could be reading. I'll give you my list of recommendations later. You hear a cheer from the other room. Sounds like the two are wrapping up their meeting. Man, hell is really other people sometimes, Mer. Gregor and Anatoly come back from the meeting. Gregor's blushing slightly. Why, Gregor? Are we are we are we BLing this? <laughs> Wait, don't say that box. I'm not the killer yet, just because I haven't talked to the vegetables last time. Hey, can you cook something while we're out? Yeah, yeah, there we go, not. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everyone, we have our route now. Let's beat those rain clouds. Yay! The group leaves determined as ever. You have the cabin to all to yourselves. What the? What's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen? We're speaking fruits and vegetables, we are Chris. Wait, this is freaking me out. I don't see a radio anywhere. Oh, uh, radio. What's what's on, on with the radio? You didn't even notice it on the ground when you walked in. Did somebody leave this radio here? It looks newer than anything you've ever seen before. Seems to be real bro broken. You better hold on to this. You got the strange radio. Before you cook in dinner, what should you check out? Alright, so basement's a no-go. I wasted a whole day staring at a basement door, apparently. I roll my eyes. I wish I could roll my eyes in this. I, I can't. But I'm rolling it. How, how, how do I... I'll just roll my head. <laughs> Look around the bathroom, check the bedroom, inspect the kitchen. So, should I keep going crazy and talk to the vegetables? Uh, I kind of want to check out the other rooms before I, I, I talk to... The vegetables again. So, uh, bathroom, bathroom. Everybody need need to be. We need to be. Let's let's check the bathroom. <gasps> wow. Whoa. Okay. I was impressed with the mirror. But the rest is really creepy. What? What is this? This is not normal stains. This. What is this? Uh, really old. You remember an old tale about a child who said a kill's name three times into a mirror? What the? Okay, I... I shouldn't be remembering. We do have faucets. This is good. A candle. This is creepy. The... the shower thing. The... Um, Karen did not clean this well. Okay. Do I just stare at the bathroom for hours? But you can't... You can't... And can't... You can't... Can't... You can't remember- I don't even yet remember how it ended. Oh wait, you're right! Shoot! Why did I come in here? I think it. You're too frightened to even try. Yeah, well why am I here? And you leave the bathroom a little more scared than when you entered. Jesus, look at the toilet! 
got it. I only left it before you spotted a demon. All right, Maria's back early today. Oh gosh, she looks like what is this pendant that? Uh, uh. Uh, hey, the others are still looking for food outside. And I totally found some more berries. Nothing that'll feed all of us. This is why we need fish, Maria. Please don't tell the other. But I'm a little worried about our supplies. We crunch the numbers and we don't have enough food, even with rationing. To last, if there's a big storm, we get stuck here. Maria seems disappointed in your inventory management. What? You... I'll make smaller garbage rolls. Jesus. I know she is, but ja ja. She looks like she'll kill me because I I cook too much, apparently. Can you try cooking a little less this evening? Well, see, see uh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You've done such a great job with meals so far. Look at her evil she is. She laughed evilly, remember? Oh, you're very sweet. Uh, yeah. Yes, thank you. Is Maria blushing a bit? No, she's not. Okay, she is. Okay, maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Anyone who tees is scarier than anything. Maria, we remember that. Okay, I will... Tr Whoa. Okay, does that mean she won't kill me? <laughs> maybe you can teach me to cook sometimes. <laughs> I'm not. Looking forward to it. Hey, you could hold cooking classes here someday. Uh, not here. Rudely interrupting a tender moment, the others burst into the cabin. Why are they rude? No, I interrupt. Please interrupt. Don't be so down, everyone. We've got tons of good berries. Why are we still eating berries? What happened to the deers and the, the squirrels, rabbits, bark? Gems, so bland, without any sugar. Do you have any sugar? Uh, take your head sadly. No addicted sugar. No heroin sugar. No sugar of any kind. Mm, yikes. Mm, turn that frown upside down, Karen. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? I'm not smiling for you, Gregor. Nah, uh, you missed out. The sunset was really tremendous on our way back. Ah, hues of red, orange, oh, you're <laughs> even a little purple poking out. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky morning, sailors take warning. Whoa, whoa, she, yeah, she's scary. Okay. So, we can expect a sailor's delight tomorrow? Oh, that's awesome. I really like it. You're such an optimist, big guy. Ah, we must have walked a few miles today. Gorgeous sights, you could even see snow at the tips of the mountains. Whoa. Bro, there's food on Anna Tolly's shoulder. I know! Is this like a food supply we should be killing? Or is it maybe a puppet? It could just be a puppet. Or I'm hallucinating. Mm. That sounds... That rumbled sound like a dying cat. <laughs> you look from person to person trying to determine who it was. Uh, it was definitely Maria. This, this, not, oh boy, she's the one who said I could cook less. <laughs> Maria? I recognize that sound from anywhere. Ah, guilty. Mary looks embarrassed, but the group laughs at her honesty. Ha 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 Just gonna... Except for you. Wow. You search your mind for something to say, but all you can think of is an old riddle. <clears throat> Those who have it, do not want it. Those who have it, least succeed. Those who have it for too long, perish. When you feed it, it gets smaller. What am I? What? Wait. <laughs> I kind of hate these, but okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Dust? Try again, big guy. Everyone is pondering the answer. Maria's face light up. I got it. I is it hunger? <gasps> Correct. Yeah, I was going to guess that. So, uh, what's on the menu tonight, chef? Bread and jam. You crush your berries in your small mortar and pestle. Spread it on some crusty bread. Yeah, it was a riddle. <gasps> wow, we're really, uh... Where are we getting bread? But, yeah. You cooked raspberry jam and bread. N not the ones that talked. 
the birds will look off. Gregor, don't look like a gift horse in the mouth. But this is homemade jam. It's too die for. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I, I understand. No, you're right, Gregor. <laughs> oh, this bread stinks. What? <laughs> Maria. Everybody laughs. <laughs> Why are they laughing? <laughs> so disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure this could be called a meal, but it got the job done. Everyone thanks you for dinner. Heads off to sleep. Alright, it's time to talk to the vegetables. So far, I've got nothing good. You go to bed wishing you had more. You have a strange dream. Something is riding on your back. What the hell? And it's become a nuisance. You try to see it in a mirror, but you can't get a good look at it. Oh my gosh, because we went to the bathroom. You try almost everything, but it won't get off. Oh no, it's a demon! The demon box! Oh, mother God. <laughs> the pain between your shoulder blades is getting worse by the minute. You wander away from the cabin, stumbling by a river to soak your pain in cool water. You didn't want things to come to this, but you've exhausted all other options. You swim out to the middle. Rocks at the bottom cut your feet, slip and fall to your knees. God, this demon's evil. You lean back, trying to submerge the thing under the waters. But it won't drown, it won't drown. Ow. <gasps> you splash frantically, plunging your head beneath the water. The current takes you downstream. You try swimming to shore, but it's no use. The water fills your mouth and nostrils. After a minute, you stop struggling against the current. As you gaze up at the sky, you feel it leaving your back, drifting into the sky as you sink to the bottom. As you take your last gasp, you see what was on your back staring into your eyes. But you don't even have air in your lungs to scream. You wait. Hold sweat. God, the demon. What the freak was that? <laughs> oh my god, that was a real demon. <laughs> what was that? I'm going crazy. I'm dreaming about demons on my back. Wow, the storm looks bad. Oh, wake up. Oh, sorry. You were making strange noises in your sleep. Was I sleeping on the couch? Is that why there's a demon on me? <laughs> What's going on, Gregor? No, she's on a couch. Where am I sleeping? Am I sleeping on the floor? I cook and clean and I sleep on the floor. I'm a pushover. Did the lightning wake you up? It woke me up. Uh, tried to fall back asleep, but it's so loud. <sighs> Let's just get back to sleep and talk about this in the morning. Everyone nods in agreement and gets back to bed. I don't have a bed. I don't have a bed. As everyone realizes, no one gave me a bed. Except for you. Can't fall back to sleep. Of course, I have no bed. You still have goosebumps from the nightmare. I think. Karen's snoring is louder than a sawmill. God, I hate Karen. You find it very loud and very distracting. You don't sleep a wink. Everyone's now up and awake in the cabin. You hear the front door open. It quickly slams shut. Anatoly sounds petrified. What? Going on. I, I looked out the door and we're completely surrounded by floodwaters. Oh my god, we're gonna drown. Uh, looks like the sailors take warning was more appropriate for today. Ah, <sighs> maybe it'll clear up tomorrow. Uh, uh, you can't steal big guy's optimism, Karen. <laughs> Why the hell not? That's all he's has going for him. <laughs> he's also good at chopping wood, though. No, <laughs> knock it off, you two. Maria, you think it'll clear up tomorrow? Uh, I give it a 27% chance of it clearing up tomorrow. Uh, based on what? I was bored stiff, so I read a book on local perceptive. Percept, percept, percept. God dang it. Ah, uh, let me drink. No, oh, my dog is really asleep. <laughs> I was born stiff, so I read a book on local precipitation levels for the last 20 years in the living room. What? what? Is that her hobby? Uh, sounds like you're stealing Anatoly Slender. Anatoly, you're a book nerd, right? Why didn't you read it? Uh, <laughs> didn't make it past the cover. Is that right? 
Yes. Hmm. That bookshelf has some great books on arts and crafting and natural science. Ah, why let them sit there gathering dust? How did you arrive at a 27% chance of it clearing up tomorrow? Hmm, it's easy. Take the time of year, multiply by a factor of, uh... Uh, Maria begins to explain meteorology to you. Uh, she isn't a dumbing. She isn't dumbing any of this down, dummy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going crazy. It's similar to... I... How do you read... Is that an upside down and God, I... I fail calculus. I over minus... N un an N N curve X N curve I minus I whatever. It's similar to I don't you mean don't you mean equals zero. Where? There we go. <laughs> so the first thing you need to understand minutes of explanation feels like hours. Maybe I could sleep through this, actually. I would sleep through this. You look over to Anatole. He's listening intently to Maria. Maybe they're in love. Love. That's why I read more romances. <laughs> so intently he hasn't blinked. You can see his eyes drying up. Whoa. And tears rolling down his cheek. <laughs> this is brutal to watch. Maria finally wraps up her lecture. She ends with a bow. Ah, oh, nobody claps. Tough crowd. <laughs> wow, we're really mean. Why are we together again? What is this? This is worse than zombie apocalypse when you throw people together <laughs> due to survival. Mary, Maria, that was all inspiring. <laughs> you lost me a few minutes in, but it's okay. Uh, I don't understand a word of it. <laughs> like, <laughs> Anatoly turns to you. Anyway, there's no telling how long this will last. We can't leave the cabin until these floodwaters stop. Can we fish in flood water? I know our food situation is a little tight, but I know you'll make the right decision. Oh, no, let's, let's fish. We could try fishing. I don't know. We could catch things that drown in water. I don't care. I believe in you. Okay, Gregor. You're so sweet. Mm. Mm, me too. Uh, it looks like we have enough leftover berries for more bread and raspberry jam. I'll pass on the jam. Just give me more crusty bread. Aww. Everyone laughs. <laughs> I like Gregor, except for you. Wow. Wow, I'm, I'm sad. Uh, with everyone stranded in the cabin, you need to keep, <laughs> keep everyone fed and happy. <laughs> you sneak out of the kitchen while everyone's still talking. Oh, boy. Wow. You see? Yeah, you can walk a catfish in water. Surely there is other fish in there. Right? Right, Fox? There's plenty of fish out there. We just need to throw a net or... I don't know, bed sheet or some something. We need something. I I feel like I I I'm stranded with a bunch of bunch of you. You get out some crusty bed and get back. I would get to work making more jam. Uh, with the kitchen to yourself, you decide to check in on the chompets. I have not seen the chompets for ages. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, as leader of the Chompets, I'll make sure none of the humans know about us. I ignored you as much as I could, but apparently this was the finale. We, the big guy would try eating a, a me like an apple, so definitely don't tell him about us. Mm. <laughs> well, your plan's going awry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I cannot do bread. <laughs> oh no, the cornbread classic for you. Did you hear about the bread maker's bakery burning down? No. The business is now toast. <laughs> okay. That's one thing. Well, to death. That one's been done to death. You know how raspberries and milk were introduced? You tell her no. Oh, wait. You tell her no. God. Raspberry! Raspberry! Milkshake! You let an audible groan. God. Did cornbread teach you that one? No, we spent an entire day thinking about the terrible pun. Ha ha ha! It's one well worth the time and effort, Raspberry. Maybe you'll win the annual Chompette Comedy Competition this year. Raspberry! Of course! <laughs> Not when I'm here. Oh, I won't choke on stage this year. 
and isn't that every year bread. <laughs> we still talk about the closing line bread. <laughs> You're going to do great this year. <laughs> Anyways, don't think about eating us if you're hungry. Oh my god, these voices. Well, a chump and stick together through thick and thin. Let's be rain and shine. More fish and farmer. Mm. Little sweet. Ah, if you hit the line, and we're locking you up again. Mm. Uh, lo life or, or death. That's right. Uh, Chumpets, move out! <laughs> gotcha. Ah, Chumpets somehow managed to close the drawer on themselves. You bring the crusty bread jam into the living room. Wow. I'm slowly going crazy. Karen interrupts you as you bring in the food. Mm, took you long enough? Karen looks at the two slices of bread left in the mason jar of raspberry jam. Should I just... We can make more stew. I don't... <laughs> That's how you make food, food like, you know, last long. Just stewify everything. And therefore, you just have flavored water and just, you know, we have plenty of water outside. We just need to stewify everything. Stewify everything. <laughs> you have no idea how it doesn't kill my voice. I remember, uh, you weren't here, but I was playing... Uh, Doki Doki Literable Cup, and I gave, uh, what's her name, the girl next door, such a high pitched voice, it literally, like, gave me goosebumps. I think I almost killed my voice just doing her. It was insane. Uh, no, no more hot, super high pitched voices. Yeah, uh, and her lines were so long. Oh my god. <sighs> so, I mean, so far, the, 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 the fruits and vegetables have very short lines. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Let's see how long I last, though, in real. Let's keep going. Karen looks at the two slices of bread left in the mason jar of raspberry jam. Did I read this already? Okay. There's mold on these two slices of bread. Well, you're eating it, Karen! Sorry. <laughs> do I even eat? Do I, the cook, get to eat? God damn. Karen is right. What the hell is the matter with you? Wow, she's mean. I mean, it's just mold. You can eat mold. Not in abundance, but you could kind of eat it. No, actually, no. Kids, everyone who watches this, don't eat mold. Trust me. It's not, it's, it don't, don't eat. Uh, I mean, unless you're starving, that's, that's really last, that's the last. Don't eat mold, please don't. Higher. It was pretty high. I don't remember. It gave me goosebumps. I think it was hitting some kind of weird pitch. Like a, like a very Japanese, like a... I'm trying to remember. Like, re really high. Like, really high. Like, something like that. Like, I don't, I don't remember her voice. I was like, JK, we could be like friends forever and ever. Uh, yeah, that high, that high. I remember now. <laughs> it was really... God help. <laughs> what the hell is the matter with you? Wow. You gripped your knife tightly in your hand. Whoa. You think this is enough for five of us? I, did I eat anything? I don't... I... Wait, we can't throw this bread away. It's all we have left. Then use this bait. I don't know. Like, like fish some fish with it. God Ah, Gregor's right. Anatoly, will most spores give us food poisoning? Uh, I, uh, uh, no scientist. Uh, sorry. Hmm. Let's pick off as much mold as we can. And leave with the flood water, so this will have to last us another day. Uh, I got the ranges? Thanks. I I've been trying to practice. I I'm, I'm not like a professional or anything, but it's fun to practice. <laughs> Except for when it gets that high, I don't ever want to really hit that high. I want, I want to try to hit lower. But I realize that also kind of affects your vocal cords. I don't. I I need to record my. I need to try to hit lower and lower. But uh, maybe if I I don't know. Maybe if I had a voice module. It just. <laughs> Everyone grimly nods, rips apart their piece. 
like a pack of wolves. God damn. Gregor seems to unhinge his jaw and eat him one bite. Oh, he looks like a duck eating bread. I have Thanks again. Bread and jam isn't much of a meal, but it's more than we had when we left Ukraine. What? <laughs> this got really dark. What the? God. God help me. It's gotten really dark. Okay. Okay. Oh, are we refugees? Oh, man. Um, plenty of rainwater outside, so at least we won't die of dehydration. Yeah, three days of that would definitely die. Uh, but until the storm is over, nobody should leave the cabin. We should clear up if we give it a chance. What? It, it should clear up, you mean? Anatoly, where are you getting that information from? Uh, one of the books on the bookshelf about the climate here. Hmm, you illiterate. So that definitely is a lie. Whoa, what? She's really mean. Yeah, right, Max? That's like this, this game, man. It's too dark, man. This is darker than what we were playing earlier. For some reason. I mean, it's just smashing fa faces. But this, this is something. I don't know. Hey, uh. Oh, I've seen him reading. Little guy's been studying. I'm serious. He pretends to read those books because he wants us to think that he's smart. But I can tell he's just staring at the pages, faking it. Wow, this Aaron, man. This, I, I, I don't know what to say. What do you think? No, I'm I'm not no, there is no I'm not saying this and then uh no Karen's not right. And I totally can read. I saw it with my own two eyes. Yeah. You must be going blind then. Yeah. Thanks. I don't know why Karen would make something up like that about me. <laughs> you aren't fooling anyone, Anatoly. <laughs> Karen has stormed off. Let let her. Thanks for backing me up. Hmm. Aww. <laughs> is this from Gregor? It is. Aww. I I like Gregor. The boy's right here. Gregor's. Greg, I want waifu number one here. Everyone else know. Good to have someone so positive around. Anatole looks relieved. I think he'll remember that. Uh, okay. Hmm. I guess let's call it a day. Yeah. Sure. Okay, where am I sleeping? What is this? Corner. Oh, there's another mouse hole. God, wait a minute. Mouse hole. I really what? Ah, I don't know what's painting. I get. I don't know. It's a creepy cabin. <laughs> Everyone shuffles off to their sleeping area. Ten minutes later. Uh. Hey. Uh. Karen likes to find somebody's weakness and use it against them when she's frustrated. Just wanted to thank you for backing me up earlier. You're very sweet to do that. All good. And I totally looks at you with a look of admiration. <laughs> this thing moves, so it might be back up food soon. <laughs> oh gosh. <coughs> uh, <coughs> as, as see you tomorrow. We're, we're in the same room. See you now. Anatoly looks like he's blushing as he walks away. Huh. You're definitely sure Anatoly will remember that. Okay. Well, oh. N nice. Uh. Huh. <sighs> you get ready for bed and put a blanket on. You go to bed very hungry. Yeah, I didn't eat anything. Jesus. Oh, Dragon Thunder. All right. Good night. Thank you for stopping by. I could do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we, we gotta get a proper meal. My god, I'm gonna eat potato chips after this. You don't dream the entire night, but you sleep through everyone waking up. That's good, because I work too hard for all of them. Ah, uh, and that's how fast a deer could run if startled. Whoa. Incredible. Impressive. Oh. I wish we had a deer here. 
the food getting lower, let's just skip today's meal. That's very smart. Actually, the longer you starve, the less you want to eat. Wait. I think... Yes. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I have fast, you know, fasting, fasting, you know, I feel like you get to some point that it's okay to, like, because once you eat, then it's like, I don't know, like, it's hard to not eat. So I, I think actually it's better to fast, like not eat as long as possible, then eat some and then from from an intermittent faster, I, I just that I that's why I believe. Let's just hope we have play fat on us. I don't know about these she might survive or him. <laughs> Me, I may, maybe, yeah, probably. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's only for one day. Um, various cultures and religions have practiced fasting throughout history. Mm. That doesn't make us feel any better, Anatoly. Oh, you're gonna grab something? Sure. Should I pause? I'll pause. Let me pause. There we go. Do I need to save? Let me save this. Alright, let me pause. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some water too.
Bees. What is that noise? What? what is that creepy noise? Is that from the game? Oh, is that from the game? from the game 
Holy crap! It's it's the longest I've passed. Holy god! Uh, never. Mind. Uh, what's the face I need? This one. Dang. Yeah, I me too. I I'm just at the save and I finally like got out of the my BRB scene and I'm just like what what is going on? Uh. What? Whoa! It stopped when I. Holy God! I'm a game possessed. Okay, I'm I'm impressed already. I'm pretty impressed. All right, let's let's keep going. I mean, I still have a bit of maybe thirty minutes, and then we're, we'll end the stream there and start Sunday. But uh, let's keep going. Okay. Whew. All right, Anatoly. Uh, refresh. Have some chips. Have some chewy bars, and uh, I'm I'm good. Let's let's do this. Hmm. Uh, God, wasn't it box? That was like what I was just like. What's going on? I I think it's more like layering because I had my like cutesy music during break, and, and I'm just like uh freaking wow. I don't know what it was saying. Maybe it's the vegetables getting to me. Okay, what options do we have? Our food wasn't rationed properly. Yeah, that's for sure. Anatoly's mumbling to himself. Almost oh, nice Let me rub it. Ah, so passive aggressive of him. All right, everyone goes to a separate area. Karen in the bathroom. I don't know why she says she doesn't like demon spiders. So, Gregor in the living room. I'm gonna stick with him. Maria in the Kitchen. Oh wait, Karen's the one who's not scared of spiders. Okay, Maria's in the kitchen. And Anatoly in the bathroom. Okay. Who do I want to speak with? Gregor. He's the only one. I I haven't spoken individually. <laughs> it was the vegetables 100%. <laughs> hey. Mm. There are plenty of blankets around, but I never need one. <gasps> I generate enough heat for the entire cabin. <laughs> Most of these blankets are pretty thick and heavy. One's mostly used for winter. Hmm, why are these outdoor in the summer? Hmm, I gotta do the American shrug. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I'm feeling a little guilty about eating all the food the first couple days. Ah, oh, this should be over soon. Enough, right? Well, it's kind of hard because we didn't even find more food to replace it. Hmm. Oh, oh, great. Thanks again for everything. Aww. I like Riker. I don't want to kill him. Yay. Like the boy said, a real sweetheart here. You leave Gregor to mill around the cabin for a while. <laughs> Everyone looks pretty down this evening. Definitely don't like her. Hmm, wish the rain would stop. Hmm, Y'all doing great. We must almost, uh, I mean, we must be almost at the end of this nightmare. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Two diamonds. I mean. Am I really the killer in this game? God dang it. <laughs> this is fitting me way too well. Uh, at least I had some morals in Walking Dead. This, I don't know what's going on. My true self is coming through real hard. This is really bad. <laughs> mm, I'm so hungry. Aw, he looks so sad. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you are too. You wish everyone a good night and get ready for bed. Yeah, sleeping is the best way to fast. Just, just sleep, sleep it off. You go to bed with a growling stomach. So I get the other bed. What what does Anatoly does Anatoly really share a bed with Karen? Wait, is there another course of food? What do you mean? I don't understand. You have a strange dream. Oh my god, another A boy is yelling at you in the kitchen. You keep telling him to lie down on the tray. He keeps shaking his head, calling you names. So you do it. You lie down on the tray. And make your body as flat as a board. Show him how it's done. 
His anger turns to courage, and he pushes you into the oven. What? As the stench of burning hairs fill your lungs, you see him sneering back at you. You wake in a cold sweat. What the? Am I a... Am I the witch in Hansel Gretel? What? Jesus. Uh, yeah. God dang it. Oh, my food is standing in front of us. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Karen goes first. Uh, <laughs> she's just been so mean. Everyone seems to be sleeping in later than normal. <laughs> you agree with everyone. I wonder if everyone, if I get to see the percentage of choices. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Karen would go first for most people. Maybe like 92.1% or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walking dead carrying over. <laughs> Their stomachs must have kept them awake all night. The rain is still pouring outside. You can barely make out the trees from the windows. Oh, you hear a stirring of blankets, arms and legs. I swear, we could just make soup. It might work. Maria looks petrified. I couldn't sleep. Anatoly has bags under his eyes. Why are we refugee? Do we just run off with just these clothes? I do. So weird. The storm is too loud. Karen looks out of it. Whoa, it's the first time she looks so bad. I'm, I'm almost feeling a little guilty. The cabin was creaking so much last night. Sound alive. Whoa. Uh. Hmm. Gregor looks a little gaunt. Aww. Uh, I got a good look out the window. And? Couldn't see anything due to the rain. Mm. Great observation, Gregor. Mm. I was so hungry last night. I kept pacing around my bed. Karen turns to you. When is it going to end? I checked outside the door again. Uh, flood wars keep rising. Unfortunately, we're going to need to stay put unless one of us wants to drown in rainwater. Uh, whoever can swim should go out and get us some food. We can make a net! There could be so much food! Drowning! Uh, as soon as the weather lets up, we'll be able to scavenge for supplies. How close is the nearest town? Why didn't we go there in the first place? I don't know. Didn't we have a... Didn't you have a map on you? Uh, I, I think it dropped it while we are running after Gregor. Oh my god. And... Why? <gasps> right, the fish is wood. Just someone's gotta go out there and just grab. It's just blood water. It's not. Is it flood? Water? Wait, if it's rushing water, we should. Well, you fell the ground. <laughs> what is it called? The undertow? The undercurrent? What? Whatever that thing underneath that kills you. Something. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> I'm sure it'll show up eventually. <laughs> Maria and Anna totally goes white as a sheet. Oh my god. How are we going to find our way back now? Well, I uh, have to ride out the storm. Why are we here? I'm still like confused why I'm here. Maria looks at you. We're down to a last slice of bread. I don't know how much longer we can put off eating. It's just one day, god darn it. You could do two, three group stares at you. Hmm. It will clear up in no time. Right, Box? I don't understand. I wish this is too mysterious. Hmm, maybe you're right. We don't look like we're friends. Are we co-workers? Are we refugees? I don't... Why did we run away together? Where's my family? Why did they ask me if I'm a cook? What about our radio? Can I check my radio? The group looks worried. They all gravitate to an area. Can I check my items? Hold on. What's this? What's what's this? Wait, wait. Which one do you want to speak today? No, I want to check my items. Where's my items? Uh, options. Okay, none of none of this. Okay. Do we speak with Maria? Oh, I want to speak with Gregor. He's like the only one I like the most at this point. Oh, hey. 
He's so optimistic. I feel like a starve with him. I know you already searched the kitchen. Uh, but I had to double check. Mm. A fool's errand. Oh, I wish everyone was in better spirits. We can't wait forever, right? Rainfall in this area can last days to weeks. Hmm. You tell Gregory to stay strong. You know what? Thank you. The group is really thankful for your kindness. Gregor blushes a little bit. I always wanted to be the one that kept everyone in good spirits. But it's obvious you do that much better. Hmm. Gregor's looking at you fondly. You sure Gregor will remember that? That's good. Don't kill me, Gregor. Yay. I only like him. The rain is pounding hard against the wooden cabin. But I don't know if Karen will kill me. Does she seem the type of good? But at least none of it is getting inside. Except for the mouse hole. Where does that go? You tell Craig to keep his spirits up and join the others. Wow. There's just shadows of both. <laughs> I love how there's just shadows of bulls. <laughs> Three hearts, right? We're we're pulling some strings here. <laughs> I'm liking it. You call everyone together, they all look grim. Aw, they were so joyful before. You could cut the tension in the room with a knife. Hmm. Hmm. Everyone is staring at you. Hmm. Hmm. They're expecting the last piece of bread for dinner. You bring it out. Everyone cannot take their eyes off of it. Instruct everyone to take a pinch. And slowly all five of you tear it apart like wishbone. So I am eating it. Everyone studies their piece of bread carefully, wondering how long it will last. I don't think I would eat it. It'll just, like, make me more hungry. Karen's first to eat hers. She chews each bite a few hundred times before swallowing. Anna totally chews it cautiously. Open his mouth once he finishes each bite. I would have made more soup. Soup, like, just water and flavor. Just bear nothing. What happened to a squirrel? We could use that. Opening his mouth once he finishes each bite. Maria nipples on his silent eyes wide moving from person to person. And Gregor. Hmm. Gregor just pops into his mouth like a cherry. Oh. Okay. It was gone in an instant. What? How did I eat it? How do, do I lick it? I would lick it. I would lick it slowly. The group thanks you awkwardly. It's not much. But you've run out of options. Ah, you wish everyone good night and get ready for bed. Where's my radio? What's what? you go to bed starving? My radio. I I we, I we're not supposed to signal for help. I could use radio. It was working sort of. I like. I am wasting so much time. Oh my god, we still rained it. God. Good morning. Good morning. Hmm. Let me check if the rain has stopped. Mm. It's still flooding! Uh. Uh. Mm. What are we going to do? Humans can live about two or three weeks without food. Uh, water isn't a concern. Rainfall should end in a day or two, right? Actually, precipitation can occur more than 215 days a year here. Where are we? <laughs> Why is it raining so much? This is Seattle. <laughs> but do you really think it will rain that long? Uh, uh, the joke is Seattle is always covered in clouds. I think, was that vampire book? Uh, Twilight or whatever? It's, it's, it's in like near, near, near that. It's in that state or something. I think Washington state, whatever. Whatever, that state where it just rains a lot. So vampires like, uh. Living in cloudy places. That's what I meant. <laughs> Sounds like Ireland. Yeah, it is. it's like I think they say like if there's ever sun, like everyone comes out. Everyone comes out of what works in a way. When I visited, I was lucky. I got a few days of sun. It was like so rare, apparently. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Karen. Yes. Anatoly, it's been days already. What makes you think it will stop soon? Eek. Hmm, relax everyone. Let's see how long we can ride this out. Hmm, cross fingers. I mean, fingers crossed. Done by tomorrow. Mm -mm -mm. Just like me. 
Panic is slowly creeping in. Everyone's looking scared. But you need to survive. Can we kill the vegetables? <laughs> you don't know what the sun looks like when you look up during the day. You're not supposed to stare at the sun anyways. It's fine. It's, it's just like a light bulb. I don't stare at my light bulb. <laughs> it's not a good analogy. I don't know. It makes sense. Karen and Gregor begin to discuss next options. Do you want to speak with M Maria in the kitchen or Anatoly in the living room? Wow. Okay, whoa, this is another decision. Think instead about everything you've done wrong and how you've doomed everyone. Why is it me? <laughs> You've been tired to stare at the sun. I used to do that when I was younger. I wonder if I went blind because of that. I mean, I'm going... I mean, I'm wearing glasses now. <laughs> Whatever. Anyhow. <laughs> so, I can mumble to myself about my wrongs. Or actually integrate and talk to someone. So... I, I don't know if I'm really into Maria... We'll talk to Anatoly, and I do not know why I have to mumble to myself. Just because I spent a whole day staring at a basement door doesn't mean I'm I'm the one at wrong. <laughs> Anatoly's still paging through the book. There we go. I, what book is that? I didn't get a chance of. Hey, uh, you really should have been more careful without emergency supplies. What were you thinking? What? Kafka, France. Why is it upside down? You really can't read. God dang. Uh, everyone was hungry. I wasn't the only one. And I said to get fish. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm sorry. Dang it. That's no excuse. Wait, you ate the two. God dang it. <laughs> What if we starve to death here? Did Maria tell you about fleeing Ukraine? How rough that was? What? So we are refugees? I don't understand! <laughs> Just leave me alone. Anatoly's mood seems sour. You leave him to the book that he's reading upside down. God damn. <laughs> uh, I should have just talked to myself. Uh, I don't think any of us can take this much longer. Gregor's, Gregor's voice started to crack. I, I don't want to ask this, but... Oh no, he's tearing up! It's time. One of us needs to go outside and search for food. Everyone is silent. Let's send, uh, Karen. I'll go. Wait, you can swim? M -M maria I used to swim all the time near my house. Good, let's go! Say, go, go off! We'll rub you, we'll, we'll tie a rope around you, or, or, or use those blankets that to warm. Make a rope out of it. I've learned enough in Zomboid. <laughs> so I probably had the best chance to swim me through the floodwaters. But no! Uh, let me go instead. If you want to die, or we could eat your puppet. Mm, you won't get very far if anything happens to your glasses, Anatoly. You're blind as a mole rat, remember? Uh, that's true, but... Little guy, let me go. No, Gregor, you stay. It's the one person doing it. Gregor, I... Sounds good to me. Oh my god, we're sending Karen! <laughs> She's like on my nerves since day one, man. Day zero on me. K Karen! Mm, his arms are definitely the longest. And he'll probably the best at climbing trees out of all of us. Ooh. No, that wouldn't be right, Gregor. Gregor, let me go instead. I, I get that none of these options are good ones, but we need to find food or help. <laughs> Gregor grabs a branch from the wood pile. He cuts into different measurements. Since we can't come to a consensus, let's draw for it. We'll each pick one from my hand, and the shores will go outside to search for food. <laughs> Karen, get out of here. <laughs> right, Box? I agree. <laughs> Gotta send the Karens away. You're not worried about drawing. Okay, I'm not. You saw Gregor cut the branch lengths. Oh no, I could cheat. You can tell which is the biggest out of the bunch. You pick it. You watch the others intently. Will it be Gregor, Anatoly, Aaron? Will it be me, me, me? Wait, I already... That looks like I got the shortest. Oh. 
Maria. M Maria! Come in. Maria. It's okay. We could tie a string. It's fine. Well, we could always eat you. I mean, we'll eat Karen first. Let's eat Karen. I watched Anatoly forage earlier. So I'll, I'll know what to look out for. You can't forage in the rain. I'm gonna roll my eyes. Let's move our head. Ugh. Just swim until you find higher ground. This got the area. Oh God, why would you be a vegetarian at this time? You're a refugee. We can eat the mouse. I got the mouse. Where's my mouse? What is this? Why can I not check my inventory? But is this Karen? Maybe you'll find a fish out there. Everyone looks heartbroken. Karen. Anna. Cody. Gregor. I'll keep us alive. I, I promise. Alright, what? How do I? Where is... I have a dead mouse. I don't understand why I can't... Hook it. She promised. Everyone watches as Maria leaves cabin. The silence is deafening. G goodbye Wait, you can swim! Why are we skip- <laughs> A door shuts behind her. You can faintly hear her yell about how cold the water is. And then silence. Maria has left the cabin. Why is this a ch cheery voice? I'm sure we'll see her again. Eating the talking vegetables with- I'm Or the mouse! I have a dead mouse! God damn <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the group nods. Everyone stays up waiting and waiting. The sun has completely set. One by one, each person quietly shuffles off the bed. You get ready for bed and easily passes out. You have a strange dream. The two women in front of you could be twins. One of them you recognize. The other is a guest. You ask the guest to sit on a shovel. Wait, they're twins. Won't they look the same? Confused. Ah, uh, and then you try push <coughs> pushing it into the oven. Her legs are so strong, you can't get her into the oven. You curse at her repeatedly. Like this, you hiss. You stretch out your legs until your toes are almost sticking in the coals. You feel four hands on your shoulders. Both of them push you in. The familiar smell of smoke and burning hair causes you to throw up in the embers. You can't let it end like this. Wait, are they trying to kill me? You rip the metal doors off the oven, tearing through the wood logs of the cabin, screaming. You chase the through two through the woods. It burns chill with the wind. Guess looks behind her. Her eyes widen when she sees you. She's terrified. Your fury rips trees out of their roots, soil from the ground, rocks from their pits. You've never been this angry in your entire life. Your stamina can't last forever. You're gaining on them. As you trample through a field of wheat, Guess throws a piece of cloth behind her. You catch a glint of it in the sun, golden. As if by magic, the earth splits in front of you, in a chasm of fire below. Fall in the pit screaming as your eyes begin to sizzle from the heat. Hellfire fills your lungs. You're unable to scream anymore. You woke up in a cold sweat. So, what the? I don't even know what I saw. That was too fast. Am I, am I the witch? Am I Baba Yaga or something? I don't. Day, day seven was it? I don't remember anymore. I'm in the days. And Maria's gone. We could have eaten her. Uh, good morning. Do you think she made it to higher ground? I, I don't know, we just went to sleep not wait for her. I don't... I believe in Maria! Why is he crying? Me too. You'll be fine. Right, little guy? So what do we do now? Just wait? Karen. How long? It's been almost a day since she's left. Anatoly and Gregor looks nervous. Someone needs to look. At, go look for her. We need to wait, Karen. Wait for what? Why don't we just tie her with the rope? We have a lot of fabric. I, I'm with stupid people. I might as well just go crazy and the vegetables. Is it because I stopped talking to the vegetables? Is that why I'm, this is happening? nearest town is miles and miles away. Maybe she got away and she just doesn't want to come back for us. I don't know. That's the most optimistic thought I have. <laughs> Waiting is all we can do now. 
So it could be days before she gets back. What are we supposed to eat? Mice? I do have mice, actually. <laughs> Karen, I'm sure Anatoly will agree, but we'll discuss next options when we get to it. Every waking thought is about food now. I never should have eaten that much. But... I it's only been seven days. Why are they so hungry? I don't understand. There have been people missing in the woods for longer. Oh my god. I I'm with babies. And he definitely cannot read. <laughs> I'm, I'm... Karen's hands are involuntarily shaking. Gregor and Anatoly just nods in agreement. They don't even need her to elaborate. You're sure Maria will make it back? She promised. Everyone retreats to the areas. What do you want to do today? Do I have to talk to people? <gasps> Why isn't there the option of me talking to myself anymore? I want that now. <laughs> Let's just talk to Gregor. I'm just gonna ignore Maria all this time. I don't care. Oh my god, he's knitting! <laughs> Why is he so perfect? Gregor seems to be coping. You're knitting. Thanks for keeping everyone's high spirits. I mean, spirits high. <gasps> pretty cheap tree park. I'm pretty sure I saw this thing called Alive on Netflix. And uh, people had to live alone in, in the middle of nowhere with a camera and they had to survive X amount of days. And some of them were eating lichen off rocks, man. Lichen! And, and stuff. Like, it's possible. I'm just with the idiots. <laughs> Who doesn't go fish when we have no food? I'm vegetarian. Ugh, silly people. At this point, I have a mouse, you know. I don't know where it is, but I definitely picked one up. Did I put it in the soup already? <gasps> ah, thanks for keeping everyone's spirits high. I know it's what Maria would have wanted. We just sent her to her death. She should have just stayed in cabin. <laughs> Don't you think? Have you heard the noises? Sometimes I think I hear Maria outside. Same something I can't make out. It comes out and gasps like she's trying to clear water from the throat. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so morbid. Other times I can hear her crying. I've never heard Maria cry. Why did we send her out then? Have you heard Maria at night? E yes I heard something. So it's not only me. Let's keep the secret between us, okay? I won't want to frighten the others. Mm -mm. Thanks. Gregory will remember that. Oh. Uh, I guess I could have made Anatoly happier, but You leave him to ponder Maria's fate. I mean, I'm pretty sure I heard crazy, lots of crazy stuff. We totally... Why am I so angry? This game's making me angry. These people are stupid. Why am I trapped with everyone? Gregor's the only nice guy. Let's just uh, eat them. Can't stop thinking about the vegetable stew. It'll be fine. Bread and jam. You know, it seems like the more hearts we get, the more everything goes bad. <laughs> oh, Box. You might be right. Maybe I have to replay this. Get the other endings. I don't know what the other endings would atone to. I, I don't know if I use the right word. That's going to We'll be fine with just the strawberries. <laughs> uh, what happened to me talking to vegetables? It seems like I stopped talking to them. I could have killed them. I could have eaten them. I don't know. I don't understand. I would kill for some vegetables right about now. You would too. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. <laughs> Good night. Night. <laughs> He's still crying. I don't. We. I stopped hallucinating ever since we stopped eating. Other than the dreams, though. Hmm, you fall asleep quickly, but only dream about desecrating a corpse. You wake in a cold sweat. What the? In a completely different room. What? 
Oh, say seven? That was say six? Wait, what happened? Day eight. Oh, okay. I'm so sad. Sad. Good morning. Karen's looking worse. Will you cook for the group today? Cook! That's my only choice. Take a cutlet of meat and begin to cook it in the oven. Where did this come from? Uh, uh, not sure. Cooked now, cook. Let's see. Now, cooked m meal. Where did you get that? You ignored Karen's question. What's that smell? Gregor finally gets off the couch. Uh, where did you? Three look at you, salivating. They take the charred meat out of the oven, cut into small cutlets. They immediately grab some off the plate, chewing ferociously. Take a piece and immediately devoured. Did you have more of this? You explain how the meat is stored securely hidden. So you can ration better this time. I understand. Oh, thank you. Uh, I... Wow, I don't... Can I just tell him it's the rat? Anna totally runs to the bathroom puking in the toilet. You're sobbing for a few minutes. Yeah, that would definitely make you feel... You can't eat like that. I should have just made stew out of it. It'll last longer. This taste is... Uh, what? What's wrong? Gregor wanders off. Anna totally returns, looking choked up. Okay. Uh, I was too weak. You left some of the meat. Don't fight this, Anatoly. Mm -mm. Anatoly takes a cutlet from the plate, turning his back to the group as he devours it. I don't... There's too many holes in the story. It's freaking me. You can hear him crying. Finally. My focus is coming back. Uh, I'm going to read some of those books. Keep them occupied, okay? What's going on? Aaron leaves you with the men. Who do you want to talk to? I'm just gonna max out Gregor. Oh, we finally see the bedroom. What is this? Bird? There's, there's mouse holes everywhere. What can I catch mouse in this house? It must be mouse. Two beds. Has hey, thanks for cooking me earlier. I was nearly passing out from the hunger pangs. Even if I'm a meat potato Scottish kind of guy, I appreciate the vegetarian dishes you made earlier. Oh, you really respected Maria's boundaries. Wow, okay. Thank you. Rigor is more dense than you give him credit for. Oh my god. Uh, if there's extra, slip me some extra meat. Okay? Gregor will remember that. Alright, we're done. Relationship stronger. <laughs> Going to see how Anatoly is doing. Later. Uh Mer was that Maria? Dang, I don't I don't know. You had the bat bedroom all to yourself. Where do you want to check first? Oh I could check! Red cage, nothing. Underneath a floorboard looks good. One, two, four board. Notice a bone sticking out. Uh, is it a human bone? Nope, chicken bone. Whew. Gross. Oh. Uh, under the beds then. Look under be both of the beds. Just some dust and hair. Gross. Um. Uh. Inside the nightstand? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. Uh, onion? Oh, don't be a crybaby. It's just me. Onion. Oi, oi. Ah, was, uh, just playing with some of the toys in this drawer. Onion. Onion. You're far too old to be playing with any of them. No, you're never too old for toys. <laughs> Anyways, need to attend a secret chump head meeting. Smell you later. Oh, okay. Onion bounces out of the bedroom. The drawer has various children toys in it. What's this? 
Whoa! Uh, alright, I'm just... Okay. June 26, 1862. Another body of a child has been discovered within the city of Zakopane. With the remains stuffed into a barrel full of potatoes. Why potatoes? Um, the cause of death was identical to early er, victims with significant blood loss due to multiple stab wounds to the stomach. Hmm. No, it's not any of my dreams. This marks the fourth victim by the butcher of Zakopane in less than a month. Oh no! Uh, it's not 1862 though. We're wearing modern clothes. You take the bloody newspaper with you. Oh man, I need a back scratcher. This is making me... I don't know why. Freaking out a little bit. The, still the spider demons we're talking about? Okay, whew. Hours passed. The meal gave everyone a press of... Press... Pre, pre, <laughs> I can't every time the big words. Hours passed. The meal gave everyone the... Preserva... Pre, preserva... Preserverance... Pre, pre, Preserverance? Preserverance? Doesn't sound like. Whatever. Hours passed. The meals gave everyone the preserverance to keep going and give up. Eating will just make them uh, hungrier. They're fine now, but soon they'll be begging for more. Hmm. We've waited long enough. What's for dinner? Calmly explain that you want to ration meat better this time. And there'll be no dinner. Mm. Fine. Uh, I understand. Hmm. Guess I'd rather eat meat tomorrow than more today. No arguments? Perfect. God. Everyone decides to call in an early night. Fall well, asleep instantly tonight. Whoa, look at that knife on the cutting board. Oh my god, what's going on? This story is so crazy. You have a strange dream. <laughs> I always have strange dreams. Having dinner with a blacksmith, but he's not touching his food. The only light in the room comes from the oven. He clears his throat, stroking his beard. I can forge anything, he says. Your eye has been giving you issues lately, so you replied. Forge me a new eye, then. You laughed. <laughs> but then the ropes come out. He ties you to your chair with a long rope to prevent you from struggling. You rip the ropes apart without even trying, so the blacksmith uses a thicker rope. Uh, no turning back now. Takes a hot poker out of the coals. Holding it in front of his face, you could see his beard and eyes watching you. He slowly brings back the poker, aiming carefully for your eye, before plunging it through your skull with a sickening crunch. The force of the blow throws you backwards a few feet. You're unable to break the ropes. You vomit all over your chest. As the smell of your decimated eye floods your nostrils, the blacksmith stands over you, spitting on your body. You wake up in a cold sweat. What the freak? Am I like. I don't know, reincarnation of a murderer or something? Or butcher Zalopane, Zakopane, or whatever. Because these dreams are a little too real. Right, puppy? Too real. Mm, you wake up to see Gregor looking out the window. He turns to you, not smiling. Oh, Gregor. Take a look at the window. You notice anything? Not Maria! <laughs> <laughs> But that creepy, creepy thing where I save. The floodwaters have receded a little bit, but everyone's still bound to the cabin. The trail used to be completely visible. It's gone now. Uh, I'm gonna save some. Good morning, big guy. Uh. Will Maria make it back? This might sound a little crazy, but every night around 2 a.m. I, I can hear her outside. She makes this awful gurgling noise like she's trying to get water out of her lungs. Oh my god. Have you heard her, Gregor? Yeah, sometimes when the rain gets faint, I think I can hear her whispering. I haven't heard anything like that. Wow, Karen. Truly Karen. Why could Karen go out? God darn it. When she's whispering, it's like she's trying to tell you something. R right? Uh, 
Oh my god. Maybe? Maybe it is a guy's voice if I send... I don't know how my choices would lead to sending them out. I, I gotta replay it to see, I guess. What the freak? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I freaked out. Why is this freaking me <laughs> Yes. What the hell? Is it because I got all his arts? <sighs> I know it was. I don't know why. It's actually kind of scary and creepy. <laughs> I sometimes hear crying through the radio. But that's just broadcast. What the freak? Right? Why is they all looking like that? <laughs> oh my god. I just got boost pups. I think we should have another piece of meat for breakfast. <laughs> One step closer to Maria. It's what she would have wanted. What's gone into you, Anatoly? Anatoly's eyes look at you begging. What the freak? Bring us another slab, please. He clearly doesn't have the stomach for it. I can't get the teeth out of my mouth. Please help me. Oh my god. Uh, Anatoly? Gregor looks pained at Anatoly's words. I think he's right. Please bring us more of that meat. Ah, uh, my, my. I almost want to be. <laughs> you grab some of the meat from your secret hiding place. You cut it into squares, adding it to a boiling cauldron water. It will taste bland without seasoning, but you need to serve it up right away. What's taking so long? Boil it faster. Hmm, it looks almost done. Patient. Oh my god, Gregor. <laughs> it's finally finished. You serve the meat in bowls. Do I eat it? I don't want to eat it. I read it fast at this point. No glow, no more here. <gasps> Gregor drinks the broth first before swallowing chunks whole, like a duck does when eating bread. Anatoly creates ripples in broth using spoon. He isn't eating. Uh, I'm sorry uh, about earlier, everyone. I I don't know what overtook me. Mar Maria. Anatoly begins to weep. Where are tears? <laughs> you, can see it. you look over at Karen. You didn't notice her even start to eat. It's just an empty bowl now. Wow, she just she just consumed that real fast. Okay. Whoa. Karen's staring right at you. Hmm. How much more meat is left? You explain how most of it's gone bad. This is last of it. Uh, are we feeding them the rat? I hope so. Yeah. How could you be so careless again? Okay. You remember Karen's knife. We need to think fast. What knife? What? What the hell are we supposed to do now? Wait around again. The storm isn't ending. Uh, can I just walk out of water? Boy. <laughs> Clear your throat. <clears throat> Anna told me. Yes? I, I think tomorrow you should look for Maria. Wow. Why is Karen still here? Can we send Karen out to look for Maria? Or forage for plants outside? I... I think you should go out tomorrow, little guy. Why does the meat go bad so quickly? We should just cook it all at once. <laughs> ah. right. Nobody else can identify edible plants like you. I, I... Please, Anatoly. You can swim back after a few hours. Gregor's right, Anatoly. Maybe you'll find Maria out there. But I, I think Maria's fine by herself. He still hasn't accepted what happened yet. She doesn't need anyone's help. <laughs> but we need your help, Anatoly. That's right, Anatoly. Please help us. Uh, let, let me sleep on it. Uh, okay? No problem, little guy. Hm. Can we just send Karen? I wouldn't mind Karen. I don't know why I cannot send Karen. Everyone shuffles off their rooms, reading books, knitting to pass the time. You go to bed ravenous. Something is approaching. Onion! Thank God for onion. Thank God for these vegetables. Onion with me! Don't 
it, Krabby. It was just me. Thank you, Onion. Onion, I'm going to be very sweet today. Boy. I'm worried about Anatoly. Mm, he's gonna cave to be a brusher. Can you stop him from leaving cabin? You don't answer, Onion. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like something from a witch, baby. <laughs> no, right? It's creepy. <laughs> don't you trust me? Take your head. Uh. Oh. I've got a fun factoid for you. Mm. Did you know that leaving out an unpeeled onion in your rooms absorbs bacteria? It prevents colds and ward off viruses. It does? I don't, I don't know about that, but okay. Onion! Mm, that was a lie! A fun factoid of that myth. People actually believe it in the 1500s. <laughs> How embarrassing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm so tense. <laughs> Why would... Uh, who would believe that? <laughs> there was even a doctor in 1919 who caused a surge of people believing it. <laughs> you didn't need internet to create a internet believing myth, I guess. People are just suckers. <laughs> anyway, you know what smells like raw onion left in the room? <laughs> you! It's been a while since you last bathed, right? It, you can't remember, no. <laughs> can we just go out and swim in the water? There's lots of water. You can smell you before I can even came in the room. Onion! Yikes! <laughs> so, can you stop Anatoly from leaving? I know he has cabin fever, but this is ridiculous. Ah, it won't be impossible to stop a grown man from leaving. Onion! Please! We don't need another one stalking the hallways. <laughs> Tapping on the windows. Crying through the radio. Uh... You have a sudden urge to scream? <laughs> Why do you think I've been using them mouse holes to get around? <sighs> Scared to death. I'll run into her. Don't make me tattle to cabbage about you. You can be as mean as potato if you get on her bad side. Onion, onion. Mm, just kidding. She's great. Anyways, when the time comes, just tell Anatoly you care about him and don't want him to leave. Even if it's for me, okay? You can trust me. Now, if you excuse me, I need to work on some new ice skates. Ooh, they'll make butter slices, so I'll get to skate around the frying pan tomorrow. Hey there! Okay. Alright, let's 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 save Anatoly. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. And finally, that got answered. Your mind finally manages to forget about uh, everything that's happening. You fall asleep again. Still ravenous. Day 9. Day 9 or day 10? I'm confused. Day 10. All right, let's go. You have a strange dream. Wait, I thought I wasn't dreaming. God darn it. Fox is uh, collecting payment in your living room. You despise him, so you put two dogs at the bottom of the sack and add six chickens on top. What? The fox smiles at you and leaves. At some point in his journey, the fox will eventually open the sack and the dogs tear the fox in half. Oh, filled with such loathing for the fox. Give him the only things you have for food. All of those chickens. Wow. As the snow piles up outside, you begin to eat whatever you can find. Pillowcases, candles, leather. One day you wake up and you have nothing left to eat. Absolutely nothing. Just an insatiable hunger. Two days later, you go mad and leave the cabin. Completely ravenous. Nearby tree looks like charred meat. Your iron teeth cut through the tree bark, tearing your guns apart by splinters. Your mouth fills quickly with blood. Days later, a deer gallops by. First creature in the woods to see your corpse. You wake up in a cold sweat. What the? <laughs> the story, man. Something smells terrible in the living room. Someone puked in the corner. You wiped it up with a rag to save them the embarrassment. Oh. Uh, good morning. Alright. Good morning, little guy. Well, Anatoly, what's your decision? I, I barely slept last night. Her whispers came through one of the holes in the floor. You kept telling me to come outside. Mmm. We don't want to rush you. One of us puked last night. So that's what that smell was. Anatoly, my patience is wearing thin. You have one hour to make a decision. Is she threatening everyone? Is she, she has a knife. They, they said earlier. Maybe she's the one threatening everyone. I don't know. Like, I feel like it, there's missing parts of the story. Well, why so quickly? Hmm? Because I'm not waiting any longer. <gasps> You can see the glint of Karen's knife on her dress. So she is threatening. 
Best to watch out for the knife. Okay. Mm, I'm biting my lips right now. <gasps> the group dispersed. Tension seems to be rising. You have one hour to kill. What do you want to do? All right. Chat with Anatoly near the basement. I I don't I don't think. All right. What should I do? Should I speak with Anatoly and convince him not to leave? Right. That was what the what the onion told me to do. Which don't waste time talking to him. Okay, let's do it. I don't know if I'm going to kill him. We're near the basement. This is bad. But let's kind of try to convince him not to go. Anatoly looks pale. Th thanks for coming over. Anatoly seems comforted by your presence. Oh. Uh. Okay. Gregor told me he heard Maria. I'm sure Karen isn't being honest with me. Have you checked outside the basement door closely? Every so often, I could see her peeking out at me through the holes. I really don't want to drown outside, but at least I won't have to have her tormenting me anymore. You know what's in the basement, don't you? Uh, no. Wow, you aren't kidding anyone. You're just lying to yourself. Uh, huh? <laughs> Please get away from me. You oblige. Looks like Anatoly will remember that. Okay. Uh, you call everyone together for a meeting. I don't understand. Am I supposed to say yes? I would have got another heart? I don't- I don't- I'm confused about this game. Anatoly, you okay, little guy? Anatoly looks pale, like he's going to pass out. Anatoly, have you made a decision? Yes. I'll help you all out. I promise. No, wait! I- <laughs> Thank you, Anatoly. Big tears roll down Gregor's cheeks. I I I'll miss you, big guy. I'll miss you, little guy. Hmm. Thank you, Anatoly. So is Karen the one threatening all of us? It's not me. I thought I was the killer. But it looks like it's Karen. <laughs> Never underestimate Karen! <laughs> yeah, Karen's. Me too! They're... They keep me out a lot in the story. I think that it's meant to re be replayed. I think. Definitely meant to be replayed. I think Karen's threatening. She has a knife. Keeps hinting on that. I think she's the, she's the true killer. She finished that soup real fast, man. I knew this wasn't easy, but it's for the best. And why so much meat and goes bad so quickly? It just bo bo boiled it on and it would have lasted a little longer, no? Do we now have a base? Oh, we can't get. I don't know what's. How <laughs> we could have dried the meat, like jerky or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not thinking. I don't want to think about the meat. <laughs> but. Ah, <laughs> uh, Karen. Yes? I. Gregory looks at you expectantly. Do you want to say something? I mean, do you want to say anything to Anatoly? You say nothing. Wait, I want to say something. I I don't understand. Uh, I. Goodbye, Anatoly. Goodbye, everyone. Good luck, little guy. Anatoly has left the cabin. Is that euthanism for something else? I'm pretty sure. Wow, we're down to two. I lots. I wow. See you soon, little guy. Hmm. I guess all we can do is wait. Good night. Wait for what? Where is the... I don't understand. Karen goes to the bedroom to sleep. I... I didn't tell him the truth. Gregory's getting choked up. I didn't tell him. Missing him already. Okay, what's the truth? I'm... This is hurting me so hard. Gregor curls up on the couch for the night, turning his back on you. Well, for once he slept on the couch and not the chair. Where do I sleep? You shut your eyes quickly, falling uh, asleep. We never ate the rat. We just keep eating people. Here, scraping from the floor. But the onion told me to save him, and I tried. Uh, find you. Oh, oh, oh. You explain how this isn't a good time right now. Ah, oh, no, you explain how this isn't a good time right now. <laughs> Sorry. There's no laughing matter. I'm worried about Gregor. He's as tall as tree, but dumb as brick. What's the root of that? 
Not a cornbread classic. Ah, oh, you're being very unpopular right now. It's a tree reference, got it. <laughs> Anyways, you need to protect Rigor from the red-haired woman. Cabbage calls an emergency trumpet meeting and told me to give you his dismission. Watch out for the night. Protect Rigor at all costs. Understood? Yes. <laughs> mm. It's the yeast you can do, right? <laughs> You told Brad that pun didn't make any sense. <laughs> On a roll today, I'll see you around. Brad hops away, squeezing himself through the mouse hole with a small pop. You fall asleep thinking about what Brad told you. Okay. So it is Karen. Karen's killing everyone. You have a strange dream. It's lying on the table in front of you. You take off the glasses first, partially cracked, and set them down next to the workbench. This is not a dream. Is it? <laughs> Working the saw, you wrap the cuts in the whole newspaper. Oh, sorry. Is it that late? Okay, I gotta stop after this. Let's stop after Scott's story. is getting so crazy. Alright, so sorry, Box. Some of it's getting soggy immediately. You begin drying cuts with the towel before wrapping. Much better. You hear something approaching, so you clench a fist. Get ready to strike whatever's coming for you. You wake up in a cold sweat. All right, let's just save. Um, I'll come back to stream on Sunday. Yes, yeah, Sunday should be fine. Usual time. That was actual words this time. Okay, so let's uh, let's just quit. <laughs> Um, everyone should sleep. I, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be a, 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 all good. Uh, it, it's an uh, interesting game. I It's definitely something I think you have to replay to... to uh, kind of a whatchamacallit, I guess, get to real crust, crust, crust of this... Oh god, I made a pun. <laughs> oh god, of the situation. Uh, um... Oh my god, it's alright. You're awake until 2 p.m. at least, but uh, I think you like to jump off around this time. Yeah, I, I think I should. I think I should because uh, I have to wake up early for a doctor's appointment. Um, sorry, Box. I would keep going. This game is really fascinating. I feel like I could plow through it for a night, but I think l l I should be realistic and not listen to my hyper focusedness. I really want to play more, but no, let's do sun. I'll, I'll come back Sunday. It'll be a few days. You can rest, box. <laughs> Everyone else can rest, and we'll finish this. This is uh, um, most, most fascinating. Um, and maybe in between, I'll, I'll try to upload the rest of Walking Dead in it with uh, the audio fixed a bit. Hopefully, the audio, I can fix it. <laughs> right. Okay, this is Darnest Things. We're gonna we'll call it a night. That was uh, very disturbing in many levels. I, I didn't expect to actually get a jump scare, but um, I kind of did. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. It has been a long stream. <laughs> I'm just crazy. But it's been great. We finished Walking Dead. Lots of stars for that. Very, very good. Um, and we'll, we'll keep going with the cooking companions. Definitely dark. I, yeah. Um, I was kind of expecting dark, but, um, just the position of this is, is pretty fascinating. All right. Let, let, yeah. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Let me say uh, thanks, everyone, on the chat. Uh, I like to call out, as usual, Napoli. I mean, Napoli. I mean, Nola. <laughs> Why would I say Napoli? Nola Box. You've been great. And Dragon Thunder. <laughs> really funny chat. And Cackles for saying hello. So I can actually read Cackles' name. <laughs> And the boy also saying hello. Um, yeah, it's been great. We'll keep going Sunday. Uh, I'll be back Sunday. Let's uh, let's just sleep. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, Box. It's it's always great to hear from you too. I always like when chat talks to me. That I could have something to say. It's it's just nice. <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. Oh my god, you're making me not want to stop. All right. Good night. <laughs>